basically your entire AR-15 lower kit with a couple exceptions. I'm really excited uh, about what we're going to talk about today. We have a couple of different companies and several different items uh, that we're going to discuss. These are all relatively new items. Some of them are newer than others. First, uh, I teased you guys before we went to SHOT Show uh, that I had something in the box, and I was going to talk about it very soon, and I couldn't talk about it until after SHOT Show until they made it public. Well, it's public now, so here we go. This is the BRN180M mic lower receiver. And you say, it looks like an AR-15 lower. Well, it looks like an AR-15 lower, but it's not an AR-15 lower, although it's close. Well, the BRN180 is essentially styled after the AR-180. If you know anything about the AR-180, it's kind of like uh, it's M16-esque but not an M16. It's not an M4, but it shares similar features to the M4. And one of the most unique features of this lower receiver is the rear. If you look in the back, you're like, okay, it has a pick rail, a 1913 pick rail. So how are we supposed to put a buffer tube on that? Well, you're not supposed to because the upper receiver for an AR-180 has the entire recoil mechanism, charging handle, bolt, bolt carrier, and springs in the upper receiver. So you just drop it right down onto the lower receiver like this. Now, this will take standard AR-15 lowers, AR-15 safeties, AR-15 magazines, and magazine, basically your entire AR-15 lower kit with a couple exceptions. All right, what? let's talk about some specifics. This is a, an extremely well-made piece of gear. This is not a cheap knockoff AR-15 lower. Uh, this lower receiver is made from 7075 T6 aluminum or aluminum for all of you guys across the pond. It has a hard anodized finish. It's got, as you can see, an oversized trigger well so you, or a trigger guard, so you don't need to put the uh, your standard AR trigger on that. Uh, this is a machined piece of steel here. I'm sorry, a piece of aluminum. I correct myself there, a, an aluminum receiver. Now, on the back, you say, all right, Paul, I'm a smart guy, and I, I've assembled uh, a large number or many AR-15s. How in the world are you supposed to, to put the detent in for the takedown pin if there's no hole in the back? Well, if you look real closely right here, let me show the camera. If you look real closely, the detent pin goes up underneath and it has a, a screw, a capture screw or a captive screw right there. So you can put it in and then replace the screw and that will hold it in place right here. And it also has a tensioner screw right there. And those of you who recently purchased the pin pan lowers, you're like, aha, I know about those tensioner screws. I know what that is. So. If you were to purchase one of these from Brownells, and they're available right now from their website, what you could do is get a standard AR-15 lower kit, and you know a strip lower kit with the trigger and the uh, the magazine release, the mag catch, and all that jazz, and you could install it in here just like normal. Uh, put whatever trigger it is you want. Now you're not going to obviously be able to drop a standard AR-15 because the standard AR-15 needs a buffer tube. So what you're going to need is something like an AR-180 upper. You've got your AR-180 upper in pistol configuration or rifle configuration, whatever you feel like doing, or a 22. That's something else you can use. Obviously, you guys should know that an AR-15-22 doesn't require the large buffer and buffer spring and buffer tube and so forth. It's all in the upper mechanism. Sorry. So you said, all right, that's cool, Paul. That's real neat and everything, but it doesn't have a stock. No, it doesn't have a stock. So that is left up to you. And that comes, that brings us to part two of our conversation. And uh, thank you, of course, for joining me. And let me sip a little bit of my coffee. Mm. So what I want my studio engineer, Zachary, to do right now is bring up SB Tactical on the cheat screen. All right, the first thing we're going to talk about, the first brace we're going to talk about is this one's probably been around, uh, of the three we're going to discuss, this one's been around the longest. 
and this is the FS113 pistol stabilizing brace. Obviously, these are popular because of the advent of the SIG, uh, the SIG MCXs that have a pick rail on them. So you reach in here and you pull it out. And this is actually a relatively lightweight unit right here. It fits right there. You can install that onto your M113 slash Weaver Picatinny rail. All right. And it comes with, let's see, shake it out. Uh-huh. comes with instructions and it comes with a dedicated Allen wrench. And all you, the Allen wrench is for this, right, this screw right here. This is how you loosen it and that's how you install it. And yes, these do fold. They are side folders and you've got your, your stabilizing brace mechanism right here so you can for all you guys you know when you get it and you want to open it and attach it to your wrist and, and shoot like that you can do that now this is a high impact uh polycarbonate all right it's a, a high impact polycarbonate and some guys out there said well yeah i know that that polycarbonate is pretty strong but i don't trust it i, I don't trust polycarbonate uh, i want something stronger and so what the guys at SB Tactical said, and you can come back to me, the guys at SB Tactical said, they're like, all right, you don't trust the polycarbonate. Okay. Here's what we're going to do for you. We're going to make the same thing only with an aluminum strut. And where does it say that? Aha, there we go. Go to the table cam. And right there, aluminum. So... Essentially, what you've got here is uh, it's the same thing, only instead of having a polycarbonate, uh, you know, and this is this is pretty strong. I mean, you'd have to be a gorilla or a rhinoceros to break that. But, you know, people are what they are and they're like, oh, I don't trust it. So instead, this strut right here, instead of being polycarbonate, is actually aluminum, aluminum. Otherwise, they're, they're basically the same. So you, you've got... The polycarbonate one right here, you've got the aluminum one right here. Is the aluminum one a little bit heavier? Yeah, I would say the aluminum one is only a couple of ounces heavier, maybe. Um, I don't have the exact weight specs in front of me. Uh, so we've got this one that's aluminum, and we have this one that's polycarbonate, and they will fit right there on the end of your brn 180 or your mcx or whatever you want to do so because these are stabilizing braces you can come back up to me because it's a stabilizing brace not a stock what can we do in our modern era well in our modern era what we can do is well we can uh put these on pistols on pistol length barrels and that is the plan. Now, you're like, you said, I know a lot of you smart guys, you're like, I know you, Paul Markle, and there's no way you're just going to show us this. This is part of a project, and yes, it is. This is part of a build project, and sometime in the very near future, I'm going to come back to this camera on this table, and I'm going to show you a completed rifle caliber pistol with and it's going to have one of these braces on the back and it's going to have a pistol length upper and and all the grips and everything like that so that is something that is whoop, I bumped my microphone that is something that's coming soon now zach go to the uh, the sb uh tactical and go to their their ak the the ak listing if they have an ak listing ars ak's there we go ak's all right i'm going to show you guys something that is so new they just they just displayed this at shot show all right they just displayed this at the shot show but it is so new that it's not on their website yet but don't get all excited and butt hurt this is coming soon all right uh may this might be zach go to the mcx listing and see if this it's listed there the sig mcx listing right there you say "Ooh!" all right i'll, I'll hold it up for the camera I'll, the, the close-up camera you say wow that looks like a crink stock that looks just like a crink of stock paul and i say yes it does look a lot like a crink of stock doesn't it but it's not it is a side folding stabilizing brace 
Yes, indeed. This is a side-folding, stabilizing brace, and it mounts to a pick rail, uh, an M1, and a, you know, a, a 1913 pick rail, just like all the other ones do. So don't get all butthurt because you can't find these now. These are coming very soon. As a matter of fact, I got this box, and it didn't even have a, a package yet because these are so new. And I'm sure right now the factory, wherever their factory is, is going crazy uh, making these things. This is going to be a fantastic addition to their product line. And I know what a lot of you guys are thinking right now. You're like, ooh, I have, Paul. You're like, Paul, I have an AK pistol. And on my AK pistol, there's a, there's a thread hole in the back for a sling stud. But I could get an adapter. Now, Zach, do me a favor. Look at the accessories on the SB Tactical site and let find out if they have a, uh, a M13, I'm sorry, a 1913 adapter. Uh, adapters, there we go. Because if they do, there's an Evo one. There's for the, for the that's for the, um, the scorpion that's that's not it that's for the scorpion so if you have a scorpion pistol let's say there's one for the mp5 okay it's not an mp5 uh are there any others nope that's it i know that out there and a lot of you guys are smart guys and you know how to do internet research out there in the world there are companies that are making pick rail adapters to put on your ak pistols Let's say you've got a Century, you've got a C39 pistol, or you've got their, their a Draco pistol, or you've got one of these AK pistols, and it's got the little screw hole in the back for the, for the sling stud mount, and you're like, that's stupid, I'm not going to put a sling stud in there. I really wish I could put a brace on it. Now, normally, you can put braces on them. We've done that for years and years so far, but you can get a pick adapter, and then you can take this item right here which looks a whole lot like a crink, like a crink off side folder, right? You can put this on your AK pistol. And we'll go right back down here. You put this on your AK pistol. And brothers and sisters, I, to, to coin an old phrase, I think that would be the bee's knees. Do you not think that that would be the bee's knees? Zach, do you agree with me that that's the bee's knees? I do agree with you, yes. He, yes, he, Zach says he agrees with me. All right, so... In short, in conclusion, and go back up to me. Uh, in conclusion, we've got the new BRN 180, which is essentially, and they have two different styles of receivers. They have the AR Magwell style, and then they have one that looks a lot more like the original AR 180 that has kind of a cutout right here. Uh, but these do take uh, M16, M4, AR15 triggers and pieces and parts and so forth. You just have to uh, install the detent pin a little bit differently back here. And then, of course, uh, find yourself a brace or a stock, or in my case, a brace, and you can attach it right there. That's going to be really cool. And then from SB Tactical, these guys, let me tell you what, they are growing leaps and bounds. They're going crazy. They've got so many different adapters and braces now. Uh, it, it's ridiculous. I'll give you. I'll give you a great example of of how fast these guys are growing. Three shot shows ago, they were in the third floor, and you guys know how I feel about the third floor. They were on the third floor new products section, the entry level section. So, I saw them there, and I talked to them there. And then last year, they were in the basement, and they had a, a side booth, and, and I went and talked to them there. This year, they were still in the basement, but they were on an end cap, and they had an even bigger booth than before. So they're just that right there tells me how much they're growing. They've got all kinds of stuff. If you've never been to the SB Tactical uh, website, just jump over there. You have no idea what you're missing. So uh, if you've got an MCX or if you've got a BRN or if you've got anything that has any kind of rifle caliber pistol, that has a 1913 rail on it. You can get the polycarbonate version. That's a side folder. You can get the aluminum version. That's a side folder. Or 
if you're patient and you wait, you can, I don't even, like I said, this is so new. It's not on their website yet. I saw it at SHOT Show. I talked to Jeff. He's a fantastic dude. And he said, tell you what, I'll send you these so you can tell your audience and your fans all about them. And that's what I'm doing right now. So have some patience, pay close attention uh, to their website, and you will be able to pick these up real soon. All right, guys. Thank you. 